how to trim audio files on the iPhone. When you go to camera here and then tap on your camera roll, you might be familiar with the fact when you tap on a video that has audio and then when you tap on edit in the upper right corner of the screen, you can indeed trim this video with the audio by simply tapping and dragging either from the beginning or from the end, just like this. However, this only works if your audio is actually attached to a video. If you just have an audio file on the iPhone that you would like to trim, then unfortunately we can't use the Photos app or the camera roll to get this job done. So let us go back to the home screen for a second. So I spent a lot of time researching to make sure that I can present to you the best and easiest way to trim audio on the iPhone. And to be quite honest with you guys, the easiest way that I found is to use an external website for that. But hear me out, first of all, we can access this website directly from the iPhone. On top of that, it's also free and no registration is necessary. Yes, you can actually trim audio in applications like iMovie, for example, but I found the process of doing so really complicated, limited and very, very annoying to do. So with that said, let me show you the easiest way to trim audio on the iPhone. First of all, open up the browser of your choice. I'm going with Google Chrome here and then navigate to audiotrimmer.com. You can do so by tapping here on top and then simply type audiotrimmer.com. Audiotrimmer.com. Once you've done that, you can either tap on it from here or you can tap on the blue button here to confirm. Once you opened up the audio trimmer, the next step for you is to tap on where it says choose file. And as we want to trim an audio file, most likely we have it in the files app. So here we're going to tap on choose file and then search for your audio file. You might find it here under recents, but if you shouldn't see it there, go to browse here and search for it there. Once you've found your audio file, tap on it and this will automatically upload your audio file. You can then press the play button to listen to your audio. Now to trim your audio, you can use these two green handles here. To trim from the end, use this green handle here and just move it to the left. And to trim from the beginning, use the handle on the left side and move it inwards. Just like that. Now this beginning part here and this ending part will be trimmed away. That is if under mode here you have selected keep. If you tap on this toggle, this will actually invert things, which is really, really cool as well, because now the selection that you made here will actually be deleted instead of kept. So if you would like to trim out some stuff in the middle of the audio, you could use the remove mode to get the job done. Then you can also choose the output format here. I have set it to WAV because our input file was a WAV file as well. And generally speaking, WAV is better quality than MP3. So I will keep WAV here. And once I'm happy with the selection, to trim this audio file, all that is left to do is to tap here on where it says crop. And you will then get this message here. And the last step now is to simply tap here on where it says download. If you see an ad like that, you can close it by pressing on the cross symbol in the upright corner of the screen. After pressing on download, if you are using Google Chrome, you might need to confirm the download here. So I will do that now here. And our file is now downloading. If you're using Safari, this should look more or less similar. And after the download is done, you should find your new audio file in the downloads folder. Now, as I am in Google Chrome, after the download has been done, I can tap here on where it says open in. And I would like to make sure that everything is saved in the files app. So I scroll down here and then tap on save to files. And in the upper right corner of the screen, I tap on save. Now let us close Google Chrome for a second. And let's navigate to the files app. And you should then be able to find your files on the browse. We are now in the folder iCloud Drive. So if you have saved it in another folder, you might need to tap on browse here in the upper left corner of the screen. And you can then change the location here. In most of the cases, files are either located on iCloud Drive or in this local iPhone folder called on my iPhone. So you can also check this one out here. And if you've used the Safari browser, then there's a good chance that your download is actually here in the downloads folder. If you have used Google Chrome, when you tap on Chrome here, you should find your download there. And that's it guys. This is how you trim audio files on the iPhone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more iPhone tutorials.